Hello friends, it's Vanessa again from Nye House. I'm here to talk with parents and teachers about more phonological awareness activities that can be done at home or with students online. Yesterday, we spoke about breaking sentences into individual words and breaking words into their parts. This is known as sentence and syllable segmentation. Well, we're not in the kitchen today. We are at the laundry room. And let me just take a peek inside to see what's going on. Oh my gosh, there are lots and lots of loads of laundry. Yes, there are lots and lots of loads of laundry. Did you notice that all the words began with the O sound? Here's what you want to do when you're working on alliteration with your children. You'll want to repeat a sentence. It could be silly or a phrase that begins with words that have the same sound. In that case, they would repeat lots and lots of loads of laundry and tell you that all those words or many of them begin with the ul sound. Okay, let's do another. What about Serena sells soap and spaghetti at the salon? Serena sells soap and spaghetti at the salon. After repeating that sentence to you, your children should be able to tell you that most of the words begin with the sound. Okay, if they do tell you with those two examples, L or S, you can say, remember, we're not seeing any letters, we're just listening for sounds. So here's a great tip. You can turn off the lights and you can repeat one of the sentences. You could say, Serena sells soap and spaghetti at the salon. And hopefully they're focusing now only on the sound and they'll tell you the sound. I'm back. Okay, good. So that's alliteration. The last type of phonological awareness activity I want to talk about today is rhyming. Rhyming is when words have the same ending sound. So let's do a couple of examples. If I said sock, bock to my child, I would say, could you please? Please repeat those words. And if they said sock, bok, oh, I hear ok at the end. Yes, they rhyme. They can give you a thumbs up, they can do the Snoopy dance, or they can give you a beautiful smile. Let's do another example. What about dryer, higher? Dryer, higher. Do those two words rhyme? If your children repeat the words and hear ire at the end, They'll say, yes, they rhyme. Okay, what about shirt, dirt? Shirt, dirt. Yep, those two words rhyme. Two thumbs up. Finally, why don't we say, mm, let's say pants, dance. Pants, dance. Do those two words rhyme? Yes, they do. And you know what I'm about to do now, the Snoopy dance. Yes, they rhyme. Pants, dance, rhyme. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for joining this segment with me. Please remember to go to www.neuhaus.org for more free resources about how to help your children become better readers and writers and even spellers. Take care. Bye-bye.